Previously, we set up a view free project. We installed the view router package and we briefly looked at the router options. The routers index page has its paths inside of our route objects, which map to a particular component. So for example, forward slash about will render this view called about view. We can see this if we click on our two links here. Over on the right, we we'll switch between our two views. But currently, there still may be a little bit of mystery behind how exactly both of these links are switching these URLs. This is because these two links have been added by default when we set up our project. So let's take a look behind the scenes and see how we can set these up ourselves and also add additional ones too. For this project, our links have automatically been set up in the app.view, but they can also live in any other component too. We can see at the top, we need to import something from the view router package. And that's something which we need is a router link component. This is all the code we've seen on the left hand side. We have the view logo, which you see here. We have the hello world component with the message. And then we have our two nav links down at the bottom. Here we make use of the router link component, which we imported from the view router package. And you can see this has an attribute called two. two is the location which we want to link to when this is clicked on. And we have the text of home and about, which links to these two URLs. You may also be wondering why not just use the regular HTML A element to link between pages. So inside of here, we could make use of a forward slash, or we could also say about. Well, it's preferred to use a router link over the traditional A element when using Vue.js for multiple reasons. One of the big differences is when we're using history mode, like we currently are, the view router package needs to intercept the click from any one of these links and prevent the browser from refreshing the page, which it does automatically. And when you're using Vue.js or a single page application, we don't need this page refresh since we automatically have all of the JavaScript code available in the bundle, which we can switch between. So let's remove this. And also just as a quick side note too, if you use the view router package based on view two, you may have used the tag prop, which looks just like this. We used to use this to set exactly what type of HTML element we wanted this to be rendered as, but this is no longer available to use in this package. Also when using router link, we are not just limited to passing in a static string to our two prop, just like we are here. We can also pass in any dynamic data which we want to. For example, we may have a user and want to link to a particular user ID. So let's go to our script. We'll set up a constant called user, which is going to be an object. But before we do this, we'll wrap this in ref. We need to import ref from the view package. And if you've not seen this before, this is a view free feature which means that all of the contents inside will be kept reactive. And therefore any component which relies on this data will be updated each time there is a change. From here, we can pass in our data as an object and we'll say something like name and the user ID. Since we are making use of script setup, our user will be automatically returned back from our script and made available to use in our template. We can output this in the double curly braces. There's the data which we need, but we can also make use of this inside of the two prop. Let's duplicate this and we'll take a look at an example. We still need the double quotes to surround all of this, but we can make use of the JavaScript backticks to introduce JavaScript variables. So we may want to go to something like forward slash user and then using the dollar symbol and the curly braces, we can output our dynamic data, such as our user dot ID. Let's just say user. But if we were to go over to the browser and try this out, this would cause an issue. Let's try this. Click on the user. Inside of this link here, we see the user dot ID rather than the dynamic value. Well, just like with anything else in view free, when we're using dynamic data, we also need to use the vbind syntax, which is a colon. 
and this tells Vue.js not to render this as a string, but instead to take into account the values of the variables which we pass inside. Now if we click on the user, this will now include the dynamic data which we need. So this starts to give us some idea of the flexibility we have with the view router, and we can also extend it even further by passing in an object. Again, since we're making use of dynamic data or JavaScript, we need to include the colon. Let's remove this. We can then remove our string, pass in a JavaScript object. And at its most simple, this JavaScript object can simply contain the path which we just looked at. So forward slash. And the same for the about link. Pass in an object for the path, but this one was forward slash about. And this should still work exactly the same as before. We see our two links are working at the top. Whoops, we'll just spell this correctly. This works fine, but this is just a simple example and we don't have any additional functionality from what we had before. But we can instead pass to this object a reference to the names which we already gave these routes in the router file. If you remember from the previous video inside the router's index page, each one of these routes had a unique name property. We had home and about, and we can reference these inside of our object. So this one, passing the name of home. And in fact, this was lowercase, this must match. And also for about. Let's try this one out. So you may be wondering why we've gone to all this effort when it works exactly the same as it did originally. Well, one of the reasons and one of the benefits of using name is reusability. If you think about this, if we had this about us router link in multiple locations in our project, and then one day we maybe decided rather than having the link to be forward slash about, we maybe want to change this to something like forward slash about us. Well, rather than going into each one of our views or components and changing this link, all we'd need to do is to go into our router file and change the path to about us. This name will be still relevant and it would still work in all of our components. Let's just change this back. Okay, so the next thing to discover is something called router view. We've discovered how we can switch between our pages using the router link, which we have here. But we've also imported something called router view. This router view is responsible for rendering our page onto the screen. So inside the app, we have this header section, which because of the default styling has placed this over on the left. And then over on the right, the contents of our two views are displayed. And the reason this happens is because we've placed the router view at the bottom of this file. So this is the outlet for our content. For example, if you wanted to remove this and place this in a different location, this now moves to the left. And this gives us the full flexibility of where we render the contents of our pages.